Hello guys and welcome to another video. So uh, if you're a subscriber you're going to know that I picked up uh, 8 of these Alienware PCs uh, that just need to be finished off for £75 each. Uh, for the £75 I have it written down in this book. We get the, uh, the motherboard which is an X79 Dell Alienware motherboard. An Alienware AIO cooler, uh, water cooler, a CD drive, the Alienware case, of course, and an 850 watt power supply, which pretty much will power anything still today. Uh, the motherboard is obviously a 2011 uh, socket. Uh, for £75, we do not do bad at all. If anything, this is a bargain. And I picked up eight of these. I uh, just lost you guys there for a sec these for £75 each. So let's uh, talk about what's going in the system today. I did get a request from a subscriber, uh, my love custard something, uh, sorry I can't fully remember your name, but I will be doing an Alienware PC build with an RX 580 and the GTX 1070, but you know, that's, that's beside the point today, but an RX 580 will be going into this build. So let's talk uh, parts and what we paid for it and what we you know this PC is gonna cost today so oh so we've got the base unit let's uh, look inside uh, we're gonna be taking the GTX uh, 670 out we're not gonna factor that into the cost uh, for these, some of these did come with uh, GTX 670s, so obviously I'm not factoring that into the cost at all. Um, we are going to be putting in uh, an RX 580 Strix, and this actually cost me £90, which was an absolute bargain. You know what I mean, guys. I'm looking for the ultimate bargains all the time. Uh, these still go on eBay for around £150, so that was a steal. Uh, we are going to put in a 180GB uh, SSD from Intel, which was uh, £15. We are going to be putting in uh, a CK Bar Bar Barracuda 3TB uh, hard drive, where we're going to store the games, and that was £40. We are going to be putting in an i7 39 uh, 30k uh, this is a third gen processor 6 core uh, 12 threads uh, we're going to get a nice old clock on there as well with a water cooler that's all nice and then we have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 which cost us £35 so in total this build will cost us £315 which for what we're getting we're going to be able to do Ultra gaming uh, at pretty decent frame rates for £315, which, uh, if you know anything about PC building, that's an absolute fantastic price point. Normally, you'd expect to play a medium to maybe a high settings at that, that price point. So, less me yapping, guys. Let me get into the build. I just want to say thanks for all the subscribers and all the support, all the nice comments I've been getting. Um, thanks for that, guys. Really appreciate it. Going to keep that content coming. Uh, got a lot more stuff coming off the internet. Uh, a lot more stuff coming from my suppliers. And we're going to keep this content going. And I enjoy doing this. So let's get building this PC. And there we have it guys, so for £315 which is not bad at all, <clears throat> I kind of feel like I cheated a little bit building this because it already pre-assembled uh, really, I like to do things from scratch uh, with an empty case, well it took me a little over 10 minutes to put everything in there. Uh, the SST, I might have to find, well I am going to because I don't like that, find another way to secure it to the case. The uh, hard drive brackets don't have uh, SSD screws or any sort of mounting or anything. Um, 
So I might have to get some double sided sticky tape and just uh, stick that down uh, just so it's got uh, a secure rest in place because at the minute it's, it is in limbo but it will work for testing just fine. The RX uh, 580 Strix, uh, <laughs> that's what I mean, the case for a bargain there. The actual Alienware PC were a bargain for 75. I mean, I can't believe I've got eight of those things, but um, you know, Roy's a, Roy's a top bloke, uh, a guy that I deal with, and he always gets me uh, them good deals. But the uh, RX 580 for £90 as well, that's just a £315, guys. Uh, I've got no doubt in my mind this is going to do ultra settings, no problem. So let's get Windows 10 on here guys. And uh, let's play those games. Let's get that exit in there. There we go. Uh, yeah. So let's get Windows 10 on here guys. Slap it in ultra. See if we can get any overclock on the graphics card. We're definitely going to all cut the CPU. Well, let's crank up the settings to ultra, baby, and uh, see what this thing can do. So I'll see you at the desk. So here we have it, guys, all up and running. Uh, let's talk about overclocks. Um, we got the CPU, the 3930K, to 4.3 gigahertz. This chip, I have seen people get it to like 4.7 if you get a good chip. But we we're seeing temperatures in the 80s. Uh, so if you want to do that, you need, really need like a, a 240 uh, uh, air that. Uh, so I missed it with 4.3 uh, just because of temperature limiting us on that factor. Uh, on the RX 580, we got a, a core clock of 1,400. On the memory, we got it at 2,200. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to set all games in ultra and see what this baby can do. Let's do it. <laughs> Little things impress me. <laughs> Ultra settings, guys. Let's test those games. Here we have Grand Theft Auto 5, and we had absolutely no problem running this above 100, 100 FPS in Ultra settings, uh, which I'm not surprised about. This is, you know, GTA 5 is getting on now, and it's time. Um, but yeah, this uh, PC, you know, incredible price point. You know, GTA 5 is going to have no problem running above 100 FPS. Next up we have Doom, and again this is another game that we see that's quite easy to run nowadays. Uh, ultra settings here again. We're getting way above 100 FPS uh, in Doom uh, with the Vulcan API. And uh, yeah, you're going to have no problem running this game either above 100 FPS was all, all around smooth and each game I played around half an hour into uh, and like I say 100 FPS and it was very very smooth now here we have Crisis 3 and Crisis 3 is one of them games that's known to actually uh, you know be one of them hard to game, hard games to run in ultra settings and here we're running Crisis 3 in ultra settings and the majority of the time we're maintaining above 60 FPS. In some cases we were getting above 90, which are good to see. We did get we did get the odd uh, frame dip below uh, 60 FPS, but the majority of the time it was above 60 FPS. Next up, I tried Battlefield 5, and similar sort of story to the other games, we were getting above 60 FPS which was where we want to be and for £315 this PC is not doing too bad at all at this point again above 60 FPS in ultra settings and it's doing everything we want it to do now when we go to Borderlands 3 in ultra settings the story changes uh, for some reason we were getting the 50 FPS range we were even dipping below the 50s but I have to say the, the gameplay was very very smooth and if you weren't looking at a frame rate meter uh, to see what the frame rate was you wouldn't even know you were out below 60 FPS it was very very smooth like I say in this sort of title if you wanted to maintain higher than 60 FPS you would turn the settings down to medium to high and this PC would still have no problem running this game 
here we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and this is where this PC really, really impressed me. We run the in-game benchmark in Ultra Everything, of course, as as we all do when we all these games in this test, and we average a frame rate of 64 FPS. Uh, I have tried a lot of games, uh, a lot of PCs with this with this game, and forget 64 FPS at a 315 pound price point is not too bad at all. So, like I said, we are getting the, in the 50 range most of the time, but by the end of this test, we've got an average of 64 FPS. So, very playable. Then I tried Far Cry New Dawn, which is another 2019 game, in ultra settings, of course, and we average a frame rate of 63 uh, with the in game benchmark. And uh, like I said, at 63 FPS, you're going to have a great experience. So this is, like I said, this PC all around uh, is going to play pretty much any game uh, with the right settings. You might not get Ultra in every game, but um, you are going to be able to play every game with this PC. Here we have Gears of War 5. Uh, majority of the time we were in the 60s. But we did have dips into the 50s as well. Um, this is an absolutely beautiful game. I'm a big fan of the series of Gears of War and Halo. Um, and this was very, very playable again in ultra settings. You might want to just dab down the settings to high just to maintain that 60 FPS all the time. But if you know if you don't have a frame rate counter, this is another game where you're not going to notice it dip because it felt very, very smooth. I run a uh, Cinebench and we got a score of 1095, which is not bad for an 8 year old CPU. And it still very much keeps up with today's gaming as well and other tasks. Okay, so in some games we're working just under uh, 60 FPS in Ultra, uh, still playable frame rates. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I actually thought this was going to do better than what it actually did in some games. In some games it did really, really well and we were above 60 FPS, no problem. But we are, we have got to, uh, it is coming on an 8 year processor uh, and the graphics card is a 2 year old graphics card. So it's not doing too bad. Um, if we, if we wanted to get like above 60 FPS in all games, we'll just drop it down to medium high. Um, but we got an average of 64 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I was very impressed with that. Uh, and all around, for £315, uh, this was a great build. Um, <laughs> and it's in a fantastic price point. Uh, like I say, I've got a few more of these to build. Uh, I got. It were a requested comment that we put on RX 518, and I've done that. So if there's any other graphics cards you want me to put in one of these Alienwares, I have got another seven of these to do. Uh, I'm not going to record them all, but you know I'll do some uh, with requests in the comments. And that's it, guys. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.